Hey guys, in this video we're just going to tidy up some things because we will be moving on to next chapter soon and at the moment play blueprint is very messy. But first I want to fix one small issue from the previous video and that is when you set a quick slot, use it, it activates the overlay and then set the quick slot to the same one, it still has an overlay. And to fix it go to quick slot, here on click quick slot button, we'll get overlay and set it, set visibility to hidden because if we are setting the item from the inventory that means we have at least one and then here on update quick slots before we set the quick slot we can set visibility to hidden as well now that should fix the issue so if you set the quick slot use the item and then set the same quick slot it doesn't have an overlay anymore and you might have noticed that if I were to use this item set quick slots here we don't have an overlay but that's kind of intended because here you want to see what items are actually equipped to replace them or equip different quick slots we could change it so it would work correctly but that would require actually changing this find item count which is the problem because now it's finding how many items we have on construct and it actually is not searching for weapons it will give us minimum of one and to change this function it would be very expensive because we would have to loop through the inventory and also loop through the quick slots map array and i don't think it's worth changing it for just an overlay inside the inventory quick slots so i'll leave it as it is and now for tidying up, you probably already know some basic like reroute nodes when you double click or Q to straighten things. But there is also a very efficient way of selecting some functions like for example this one event begin play and then you can right click and you can collapse it to nodes. And this will, this will collapse it to single node. That you can change the color. So if this is a big in play, it will be important. And I will change the color to red. I will call this event begin play. And then you can also comment it. So press C on a keyboard. And here you just write begin play. And we can also change this color to the same one so just red of the comment and then here we can show bubble so when we zoom out we can see the bubble so we can find it easily and also color bubble so it will change it to the same color and now I can remove this outside comment and this is my begin play if I need to access it I'll just open it and change it here and this is this will be very useful now because we, we won't be editing it as much as before so it won't be confusing when i'm doing it on a video and you can basically do this for all of these notes if you don't like to follow this video you don't have to you can skip to the end because all i'm going to do is add this to the categories and add this to the notes so remove this part this one is for camera so collapse to notes camera input this one I will change since it's input maybe to something like yellow comment it input And change it to the same color we can copy hex from here because you can copy color like that and then change it here as well show bubble show color bubble and we got input this one is movement input i will collapse it to notes actually remove the comment and then collapse it to nodes. This one will be movement. 
but this one for example since it's movement I'm going to make it green I'm going to connect it uh, comment it and this will be movement because we can add jump here and anything else to do with movement this one is jump so I'll remove outside comment collapse to nodes jump or jumping green as well and I'll add it to the same comment next to it and you can see as we are organizing these things instead of this we will have a few nodes that we can access easily this whole thing is interact make sure you don't select something else right click collapse the nodes interact we can call it the same so interaction or interacting and I'll do a new color for it something like pink move it here I'll also comment it interact This one is open inventory and close inventory. So we'll collapse the nodes. This one will be inventory uh, widget. No, oh, sorry, it's interface actually, not inventory. So interface, and we can call it that. And I'll make it blue, and that will be color for all of the widgets also copy this color comment widgets font size will be the same and color bubble for widgets now here we have create notify no spam so that's a widget as well right click collapse notify I still have blue color so I'll add it and I'll move it to the same one and then once you organize it like this and get actually used to the color you are using it's very easy to find because people also have a color memory so it's much simpler here we got spawn preview actor so preview actor this one i'll do just darker blue because it's an actor maybe object but i'll just comment it as a preview actor also useful things if some of you are still watching is actually commenting what some things might be doing so if you understand some code when we're doing it in the video and before you actually forget what it does is you would write the whole comment of everything that would explain it to you later when you find that note i'll show you in some function as well how we can apply it so this one will be quick slot collapse to notes quick slot quick slots keybinds since it's an input as well I'll do the same color as I have here for this camera input mm, I copied it by accident or did I not? no, ok What else we have here? This is just for testing, I think. 
or two things. This one is sprint, so it's movement again, collapse to nodes, sprint. I'll move it to movement and make it the same color. And then last thing we have here is create condition. Create condition. And this is probably just on its own. Create con. And I'll just use some new color. Maybe this. And now something that you had to scroll through forever, you got on one page. Very visible. Nice and simple. Now for these ones, let's organize the variables. Inventory I want to have in a category items. Anything to do with items will go to items. So inventory reference. In reference is actually references. Inventory size. I don't think it, when we're using it anymore. Find references all. Hmm. Inventory size is arrow. Okay. So we don't actually need it. We can remove it from here. And from here. That was just for macro before. And now we can remove inventory size and quiver size as well. Now interactables goes to uh, references. Attach equipment info is items, attach actors, references, preview actor reference is reference, notify box reference, reference, gold is items, crafting recipes is items, interface reference, Random stat pool is items. Random weapon stat to stat to stat pool. What am I saying? Um, items. What is that stats? I'll do stats. Play upgrade modifier. Upgrade item item modifier. So any modifier that we will have in float we can comment as perks because later when we're using like player skill or we level up player these are the things that we can modify with like skill points so i'll leave it in perks and then player hat will be reference quiver is items key item inventory is item active notify type that will be order widgets to close this reference quick slot uh, art can actually go to separate category called quick slots and quick slot index as well now this will be organized as well. And for the function, we already have categories now created, same ones. So pick up item is items, remove item, items, create notify will be order. Is 200 equip is items, 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 level up. That will be maybe other or stats, I'll do stats. Use item is item. Get rarity color is item. Drop item is item. Check weight I stats. Pick up gold is item. Find item count is item. 
remove crafting materials is items add random stats is stats stats which we could have actually created in stats component but it's done now get upgrade cost is items can sprint disable sprint that will be stats disable sprint stats drain stamina stats learn new recipe items find quick slot item is quick slots create condition stats pick up key item items find key items is items level up check weight where are we drop key items is items remove key item is items check existing recipe items as well close open widgets uh, order and update quick slot count is quick slots remove duplicate quick slots is quick slots all of it organized and much nicer and just back to these notes quickly for example in our pickup item function this is quite complex but you can split it in different categories first i can hide unconnected pins but what you could do is here we have found the item so from here this part you can actually collapse the notes and this will be found or add to stack because we're adding to the item that we have already found and you can comment it here add item to item stack in inventory or something you know and I am actually struggling if I don't use some function for two weeks and then I go back to it I have to actually study what it does so if you understand it comment it and then that will make everything much easier and this is pretty much it I just wanted to tidy up the player blueprint so I'll see you in the next one one more thing actually uh, that function that removes close open widget here let's do right click and convert to validated get because I think I got error once and that is maybe because we got delay to close this widget and maybe before you press the button or something didn't happen very often to me but I know it happened so only if it's valid we will remove it from parent compile and save all right see you in the next one bye